Hello, my name is Asa. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a little sore throat. Well, anyway, uh, today we have a tutorial and I'm going to show you how to export a model that you made in Blender to Roblox Studio. Okay, so this is not a modeling tutorial, but you can check my other videos in the channel. And well, the idea is that this uh, simple model that I made, I'm going to export it to Roblox Studio and then to uh, make it uh, a character, no? So, well, well, I hope, I don't know. So, well, the first thing that I did, it was modeling, obviously. And after I model, I just uh, rename all the parts. One step that is very important when you are exporting your model to Roblox Studio, it does sometimes we uh, we have to we clone things okay we use the mirror modifier to clone things we need to apply this thing for example i will show you something very fast for example let's see that i want to make a i don't know probably something in the head so i'm going to make here something in the head i'm going to add a new cube i'm going to put it uh, over here and then I'm going to have two horns uh, on the dino. So the thing that I'm going to do here is go to modifiers and then add mirror modifier. And then I'm going to select here mirror object. Well, it has to be the head. And then I enter in edit mode. I select my object pressing A double two times. Then I move it and then I have two. So, for example, then I move it here, I put it. So far, so good here. If you check that this is not like properly aligned, probably you need to uh, move a little bit this thing. Okay, but don't worry, it is just, it is just an example. Okay. So, well, we have the head here. Well, we have this kind of horns. So, let's use here to give it more like this extrude and that's it this is just an example guys okay so don't 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 worry it's because sometimes when we make the arms or the legs we use this kind of approach well anyway uh, also they can let me move my here so when you have your object if i want to move my object independently in roblox studio i have to separate this because if I, I export it to Roblox Studio, it's going to export the two together, and I don't want to. Uh, I want to export them individually. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is this thing: go here to modifier, and we are going to apply the mirror modifier. We click here and we say apply. Now we enter to edit mode, and then we select one of the horns, the complete horn. To do that, you can select one face or one line and then press the button L. It's going to select one object. Okay. We have two objects here. So, and now we are going to separate. To separate this thing, you can press P and selection. There is another way that is this. For example, if you press here, uh, here in the mesh, I guess it's in the mesh. Let me check if this is here. If not, separate by loose parts, by the parts that are separated. And that's it. You have two individual parts. Then you just can rename, for example, right, uh, no, left horn. And this is going to be right horn. This is just an example, okay? So, well. When you have your parts, you are ready to export everything. So everything has to be separated. Okay, well, the head and the jaw, well, if you have mirror modifiers, it, it is not important. So, well, but I have all my parts separated, for example, my legs. And that's it. Well, now we are going to open Roblox Studio. Okay, well, uh, I open Roblox Studio. Now I check what things I want to export. So if you check, I want to export all the dinosaur. Okay. It's not important the camera. You can delete the camera. Okay. You can delete the lights. 
you just drag and select all the objects. So if I want to, uh, if I don't want to export the horns, I just remove the horns. Okay, but I think it's a good idea. I can remove them in Roblox Studio if I don't like them. Okay, well, now I go here to File. Well, also, don't forget to save your project, your progress. Then File with everything selected. Select Export, OBJ. And then here, this is the important part. Selection only. On check Object Groups, uh, OBJ Objects and then select object groups okay then you can go here to path mode to copy and i guess that's all i'm going to name this as chromi and then i'm going to export it that's it that's all we are ready to go to uh, roblox studio we are going to create a new project to make it simple for you I create a base plate. In order to import your meshes, you need to publish this place. So you need to publish this place. So you can go here, publish to Roblox, Alt P. Write a name. It doesn't have to be public. For example, my Chromi, my Chromi dinosaur or something like that. And that's it. It's closed. Then you have this. In game, if you don't see uh, these options, you can go here to view, select Game Explorer, and then you will have the option. So, well, here in game option, you can import, and then you just look for your model, that in my case, it's called Chromi. I select Chromi. I press Abrir, or Open. You can leave, you can... Uh, Keep this like this or you can remove these ones i don't know you check everything if it's okay do you say apply all and then you just need to, to wait for this it is importing 15 files we need to wait a little bit so wait until everything is imported so this is just to tell you the, the status. So to access to your meshes, you need to go here to game. Again, remember, if you you don't see Game Explorer, go to view and then click on here. Then you go to meshes. You make sure that everything is imported. I guess everything is imported. Then this is a trick that I learned from the Radian guy okay uh, he helped he showed me this trick because uh, i didn't know that and then you select here all the pieces of your model then you just click right my button insert with location okay if you don't if you don't do it like this it's going to insert it everything like a puzzle and you need to assemble everything so we use insert with location. We click and we wait a little bit. Okay, it is over there. Don't worry. We just can uh, group this thing. We go to model group. We can rename this as Chromi. And that's it. And then we can move it up. And now check. We have some errors for the normals okay yes yeah, so how can i fix this well it is pretty easy check i have like this kind of transparency thing to do that we are going to delete this guy and then we are going to go to blender now in blender we are going to select all the model and then select edit mode if you cannot do it like this select the model and press tap Okay, select here everything. Ahí está. Select all or double A until everything is orange. And then you are going to go to mesh. And then you are going to go here to normals. And you are going to recalculate outside. That will do the trick for you. I hope so. Hopefully. And then we go 
object mode again and then we are going to export everything again we repeat the steps object selection obj copy the name i'm going to rename it i mean to override it and then i'm going to delete everything again here i select these uh, things and then i say you know remove remove from the game i'm going to do the same import I select Chromi and let's say, let's hope that now the normals are okay. So we just let it uh, like this. We wait a little bit. It is important, check. It is important until the check mark is ready. And that's it. We wait for the last pieces. And let's see if everything is okay. If not, we have to do it one by one, but don't worry. We select everything with shift. Then insert with location. Wait a little bit. And it looks the head okay. Okay, now it's done. We can group the model. We write the name here like Chromie. Uh, before everything, we can add the human root part <clears throat> because it's going to be a model or character. Also, I can add uh, another part inside the model. This part is going to be the humanoid root part. The other one, it was the humanoid. This is necessary for your model. We select here that it's, uh, well, it depending on your model, it has to cover the torso, okay? Well, in my case, it's not covering the torso. So here, here we go up. We press F to see closer. It has to be near the neck. If this thing has a neck. And then covering here, probably here. F, uh -huh, probably covering something from the here. This is a strange model, so well, I don't know if it's going to work really cool, but let's leave it like this. Now we just make it thinner. Just make sure that it's covering the body. This is a very important step. Then you just rename this part that make sure that is inside your model humanoid. Uh, with this capitalization root part human root part and we can make it invisible so don't worry and that's it we have our model now ready to be a uh, rigged and then of course animated but that we are going to make that in another video we can also give them some color some material probably metal or probably we are going to add something like I don't know, like glass or eyes. Some people like the other materials, but I guess I, 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 I pretty much like this one. I guess with eyes it's okay when we can change the color to have a green dinosaur or pink dinosaur or red dinosaur. Anyway, I like this one. But, but the original color is like gray, right? Well, let's leave it like this for this case. And I guess that's all for this video, guys. I hope that you like this video and that you understand how to import uh, your meshes into Roblox Studio, especially when you are making a custom character. Okay. So, well, I guess that I'm going to work with this guy. If you want to see the video rigging this character, please uh, write it in the comments. Okay. Don't forget to like the video and share it. This is very important for me, guys. I know that you want to work and you forget to like the video because you want to start over with this thing. Well, I hope this is useful. My name is Asa and I hope that you like this tutorial how to uh, import and export. Uh, well, in this case, how to export objects from Blender to Roblox Studio. Okay, or meshes, how to export meshes. My name is Asa and I will see you next time. Thank you very much. And thanks for playing my game, guys. You're awesome.